As I walked into the thrift store, the toy shelves were pretty bare and I didn't think I was gonna score anything at all. I thought I was gonna walk out of there with a loss, but wait until you see what I found. I scored some pretty awesome stuff. And then the day got even better when I scored a 1980 Star Wars figure. Check this out. My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burke. And we're at Texas, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Thrift Giant. I was about to say Texas Thrift. Big Texas Thrift. We're at Thrift Giant this morning. About to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. Keep my fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. We'll probably hit up a few more thrift stores. I got a chiropractic appointment later today. And uh, Craptastic Sam's main location and a goodie wheel is up there. So we'll probably hit those up a little later today as well. But... If you're new to the channel, my name's Chris Burfield. My friends call me Burf, and I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. So if you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, you'll probably like my channel, so hit the subscribe button. Now, let's see what they got in here for us. Well, the shelves look a little bare, so they might not have a whole lot for us today. Oh, here's a uh, rescue hero. Been kind of picking some of these guys up lately. I think I'll pick him up too. Oh, look at this. Oh, how cool is that? What we have here is a DC Super Friends Lobo motorcycle. That is pretty cool, man. I'm definitely picking that up. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I mean, the box is totally beat, but I'm going to grab that for $6.99. That's awesome. Holy cow, guys, like, I didn't think we were gonna find anything at all, and we got a Rescue Hero, this Lobo motorcycle, and we've got a Stridor. Epic! And we've got a few different Iron Men over here. We got Vader and whoever the heck this guy is. Now, I don't know how much this one sells for specifically, but these Globe skateboards are going for over 100 bucks, but I can see that this one like has like a crack in it and then there's like another crack forming down here so i don't know if that poses i don't know anything about skateboards so i don't know if that poses a problem for people or if that's typical wear and tear or i mean it's kind of going right through the screw there so that doesn't look like it would it's a good idea you know somebody might get injured be skating along and it then cracks in half or something you know i don't know again i don't know anything about skateboards i'm just guessing Oh, look at this guy. Oh, I love that. He's like a lava dragon. He's all translucent. Oh, there's no sticker on him, though. Dang, they won't sell him to me if he doesn't have a sticker. There's a Triceratops. That sucker is heavy. Holy cow, man. I mean, that probably weighs, <laughs> weighs like half a pound. 2005. Hmm, check this out. Looks like somebody dumped their entire elephant collection. So we got all these ones. This one with the American flag is pretty cool. And then look at all those ones. Wow. That's pretty awesome. I bet you those things are worth some money too. Well, gang, we got our haul. And I gotta tell you, I honestly didn't think there were, we were going to find anything. The shelves look kind of bare when I first walked in. So that's why, that's why you always have to follow through. You know, some people might walk in there and look at those shelves real quick and be like, ah, oh, there's nothing here and then leave. But not your boy. Your boy always follows through. All right, let's, uh, let's do some show and tell. All right, first up, we got the DC Super Friends Lobo motorcycle. This thing is pretty cool i'm gonna have to see which figure actually goes to it now i don't know if this is like it kind of looks like it'd be a small figure you know like i feel like like kind of like an imagine next style figure where the feet are on these little platforms and then he stands up and grabs a hold of the uh the handlebars there but i don't know I don't know. You guys can maybe comment below and help me out. I'll definitely look it up on my own, but 
I always like to hear what you guys have to say. So we got this. We also got this Rescue Heroes Firefighter. Now, I had recently just picked up Wendy, the firefighter. I don't know what this guy's name is, but I had recently picked up a Wendy. And she's the only fire person I have. So I was like, I got to have a dude on the team. So I picked this guy up. Got him for $3. He doesn't have any of his accessories or anything like that, but I really like this line. And I've said this before uh, in several videos that I feel like this is kind of an underrated line. Uh, they do display really nice on a shelf. So yeah, I'll be happy to add him to the collection. And then last, but certainly not least, we got Stridor. So I actually have him at the house in box, the newer version, the Origins version. Uh, so it'll be cool to be able to take this one out. He is pretty badass. I mean, the box is so beat, there's no sense in keeping him in the box. And besides, I already have one in the box, and so now I can have one loose. And uh, yeah, check this. Let's check out the back here. Uh, yeah, and this was everybody in the 2022 line. Oh, Terror Claws. Skeletor. I don't think I ever saw him in stores. So we are off to a pretty good start. I am really thrilled about this. Oh, this thing is awesome. I'm gonna all jazzed up right now. <laughs> so, like, uh, no, but seriously, uh, off to a great start. Um, we're gonna go hit up the goodie wheel next and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the goodie wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some cool stuff like your friend Thrift Giant. So let's take a look around in here. And then when we're done here, we'll go hit up Craptastic Sam's Plano location. That's not the one we're gonna go to later today. It's just their sister store, their sister location. So in the meantime, let's see if we can pull some vintage toys out of here. like a lot of the same stuff that was here a couple of days ago. Oh, look at this little woodsies playset. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this little puppy. This little Dalmatian puppy. Oh, it's a girl. Her name's Penny. Oh, we got some foosball. That's fun. All right, we got busted at the Goody Wheel, but you know, that's the thing. When you're in the Goody Wheel Gang, are you guys in my Goody Wheel Gang? Who's in my Goody Wheel Gang? Hashtag Goody Wheel Gang. Goody Wheel Gang Gang. I like that. Goody Wheel Gang Gang. But when you're in the Goody Wheel Gang, man, you hit up the Goody Wheel. Sometimes you score stuff, sometimes you don't, you know? But you gotta check every day. That's what being part of the Goody Wheel Gang is all about. Persistence and consistency. Persistence and consistency. Is that the same thing? Persistence. I think it's kind of the same thing, right? <laughs> All right. I'm actually heading over here to Grace Bridge real quick. So that's I'm walking across the street here. Um, let's go hit this place up and then we'll check out crappies. Uh, looks like they got all their back to school stuff out. Oh, look at this. Canadian bear. Isn't he colorful? Dang, look at this thing. This dude is still here. He's been here for weeks. You know why? Because they want like, yeah, $30 for him. You can get him half off today, but even at that, he's still like highway robbery priced. Oh, look at this Betty Boop. Not too bad her hand is broken off. Hey, what's up, soups? All right, but we just got busted at Gracie Bridge. All right, off to Plaza Thrift, a.k.a. Craptastic Sam's sister location. All right, my friends, we are here. So we're about to head into old Plaza Thrift here. We'll check the glass case, check the shelves, maybe rummage through some bags, possibly check their VHS section, see what, uh, see what goodies we can get. Hopefully, we can fill our bag up. What do we got here? We got a bag of all kinds of action figures in there. Hmm. 
There's a pack of Pokemon cards for $18.18. That seems like a lot. Well, I think they're just a bunch of uh, cheapies. Well, these things are all like gold foil. I'll have to look into this. All right, so I checked out those Pokemon cards and uh, I only checked maybe like a dozen of them and it looks like they're selling for like a buck or two each. So I don't think it was worth a whole lot of money. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it for someone else that really enjoys Pokemon. Now we can look through the shelves and see if we can find anything. There's a Power Ranger. And we got a football. But that looks like it's about it. I don't see a whole lot going on over here. A lot of baby toys. Now it's time to rummage through some bags. Got a transformer. A little bag of junk. There's some Bakugan in there. And we got a bag full of eight tracks. Jesus Christ Superstar. Man, there ain't nothing in this baggy section. Nothing at all. I thought that was a record for a second. Oh, we got a shell razor. An incomplete one. Oh, look at this thing. I think he's a YouTuber, if I remember. Let's see what we got here. Bunch of smalls, it looks like. And of course, it's not a thrift store without our friendly neighborhood Spike Man. All right, guys, we got busted again. So I'm gonna head home, do a little work, some stuff around the house, and uh, then when I head off to my Cairo appointment, we will meet back up. So it'll be a few hours for me, but lickety split for you. Whoa! Man, that was a fun ride. All right, guys, we're at Crappy Sam's, AKA Plaza Thrift. So we're gonna check the glass case, check the shelves, check the baggies, all the good stuff. See if we can get a vintage win out of here. All right, what do we got here? We got Carnage. We got Captain America, a whole bunch of die cast. Look at all that. Do you want to see something on here, sir? Uh, yeah, I think I want to see this one figure in here. What do you see? Uh, $3.99. Alright, look at this guy. Let's see, shelves look a little, a little bare though. Yeah, let's go check the baggies. Alright, well, here we are in baggy land let's see if there's anything good in here oh there's a jesse plush in there looks like it could be an older one yeah, probably some sort of disney prince maybe there's a barbie in there too Man, overall, the bag section is like super weak. I'm not finding anything. It's a bag full of smalls. Oh, there's a Starboard. Oops. <laughs> Dang it. There's a Star Wars figure in there. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know if he's. Is he vintage? Yeah, he is vintage. I don't know why. I mean,. I was almost certain he was, but I wasn't 100%. It just looked and felt a little different. But yeah, that's an Imperial Commander. I wonder if there's anything else in here. We got this guy here. I don't know who this guy is. Looks like he's missing a hat or something. This is a little Batman figure. Pink and green. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, a rubber chicken. Yeah, one thing I've learned about models, you don't ever buy it if they're not sealed. You just never know if they're complete or not. This recycling truck. 
I've always seen them in green. I've never seen the orange one before. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this guy up to the front and I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna tell him there's not a, there's no price on this guy. Um, you know, do you know how much you'd sell them for? And see what they say. They may sell it to me sometimes at this store. They will put a price on it. And then other times they won't put a price on it at all. So um, I'm gonna take, take a shot with it. So I'll let you know how that turns out in just a moment. Dang, look at that panda. I'm gonna grab an, I'm gonna grab one of these plushies here just for size comparison. Look at the size of that thing. Holy cow. All right, gang, good news. I got it for a dollar. I got the Imperial Commander for a dollar and I got this uh, Carnage figure. Let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up we got Carnage. And the reason I picked him up is I had a, I have a subscriber that messaged me on Instagram and said, I had passed up a Venom figure and he was like, dude, if you're gonna keep passing on them Venom figures, like, let me know, like, I, I need one, I want one. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll keep an eye out. And uh, I found this Carnage figure, which I think is, it's not Venom, but it's along the same lines and I thought maybe he might like it. But now I'm trying to remember which subscriber told me that. But anyway, I got this Carnage and I got the 1980 Imperial Commander from Star Wars. How cool is that? We got some vintage toys in the house and I got them for a dollar. So like I said, this place, sometimes they will sell them to you if they're not priced and sometimes they won't. It all depends on who's working that day. But man, I already have this guy, but uh, you know, it's always good to army build with these types of dudes. All right, so we got one more stop to make. I gotta go to my chiropractic appointment and then we're gonna go hit up the goody wheel. We're gonna finish there today and hopefully we can finish strong. All right, gang, here we are. Last stop of the day. We're at the goody wheel, baby. Oh yeah, what you got for me today, goody wheel? What you got for me today? So hopefully we can find some vintage toys in here, more vintage toys. It's already been a successful day. Now we want to finish strong, baby. Just like Coach always said, finish strong. Oh, here's some Wii games. Star Fox Guard. Pokemon Tournament. Minecraft. I have to see if those are worth anything. Looks like they only want three bucks a piece for them. Oh, you know what? I just saw, yeah, right there, Star Fox Zero. I saw that game selling for 30 bucks. All right. I gotta check this Pokemon tournament too. Oh man, it's broken. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna check the rest of these. What are those? Can I see those Superman things down there? Alright, I'm gonna get these. They're three bucks a piece. I think they're kind of cool. Alright, now let's see what's on this. Oh, look at this bucket. Star Wars, that's a new Star Wars. I don't like the new Star Wars. Let's see, what else do we got over here? There's a grave digger. Dorbs. Beast with Blackbird Jet. All right, how about anything on this side? Uh, I don't think I'm seeing anything. You know, I already put one of them back, but I'm going to put this other one back, too. I don't need those. It's just uh, more crap that I don't need. I'll take it home. I'll set it up on my desk. It'll fall over a couple times, and I'll say, screw it, and, like, throw it in the trash or something. <laughs> so, but, hey, you know what? We had an awesome day today, nonetheless. And if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor. Smash the like button. That helps me out. It does help my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.